So last July, re the researchers at Harvard sent housing requests to roughly 6,400 hosts across five cities, Baltimore, Dallas, Los Angeles, St. Louis, and Washington, D.C. Renters with names that sounded African-American got a positive reply about 42% of the time, compared with roughly 50% for white guests. <laughs> the results are remarkably persistent, the research wrote, with whites discriminating against blacks, blacks discriminating against blacks, mm. and both male and female users display a bias. So, so here's the thing: black white people discriminate against black people, black people discriminate against black people, males discriminate against black people, females mm. discriminate against black people <laughs> because they're <Airbnb. laughs> because no. of their. Because of their hair, you said, Ak? Yeah, because of the hair texture. <laughs> the, reason, the reason they don't want people in their house is because of their hair texture. It's hard to clean up. Yeah. That's when not an oxymoron? Out. Blacks discriminating against blacks? No. I mean, listen. Listen, man. If you got some shit <laughs> that you will keep nice or some shit that you need payment for on time or some shit you need, like, you just need, you just... Yeah, that was another thing. That was another thing, bro. Like, Shorty was just, like, dragging it. Like, she was like, I told her yesterday, I was like, look, because I had another person who booked the same day because my shit is in a good area. So that shit is hot. Like, that's just on fire. Like, we probably, like, starting in 2023, we probably going to do 80% occupancy. So, like, I'm telling her, I'm like, yo, you have to pay for your spot to reserve your time, just like a hotel. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, well, I'm going to pay this day, that day, that day. I'm just like, bruh, you cannot just like act like you, you live here. And then she's giving this excuse like, oh, well, I got a whole bunch of stuff here. And um, my apartment is supposed to be here on the 9th. And all this goofy shit. I'm just like, bro, if you don't pay for the days, you cannot stay. It's that simple. And she, it, it, it's just like entitlement, hella entitlement, bro. Yeah, that so all kind of red flag should have been dinging going off. Well, yeah, she did that whoop de doo shit last night because I'm like, yo, didn't you say that you or she basically was like, oh, yeah, I wanted to extend. And I'm like. If you don't book the days, then you can't guarantee the stay. And she was just like procrastinating that shit, talking about, oh, my check going to hit this day. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, you're supposed yeah. to already have the money. It's these problems that, that, that keep us in Airbnb and away from traditional renting to begin with. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. And and this is why, honestly, uh, uh, BG, BGZ, I'm, I'm moving from airbnb to just strictly um traveling nurses in 23 yeah so with the traveling nurses thing i've gotten on a couple platforms but i don't know bro that shit don't be hitting like that what what um platform are you on to like source the traveling been, nurses i've been getting them uh through airbnb right mm, okay. and and i get them through uh a, a a website called Furnished Finders. Yeah, I'm on Furnished Finder too. I don't know what it is, but that shit ain't hidden for me. They bang for me. Yeah, I don't like the messaging system either. It's like they don't really let you know. Yeah, when... yeah, I don't like it. Look at all yeah. these. Look at these two brothers owning property. These two young men owning property. You, you, how old are you, um, Stunner? Shit, I'm 44. I'm 45, actually, now. Yeah, you're still a young man. I'm 44. Look at these two young men. Still um, uh, young black men owning property, man. Um, sisters, man. Sisters, if you're looking for eligible bachelors, man. Sisters, you got two <laughs> eligible bachelors right here. No, I'm not, I'm not hood enough for the sisters. <laughs> no, I got a tiger, remember? <laughs> No, 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 man. We don't, we don't, we don't. No, no. I don't want to hear that, a brother. A brother like you with property travels, 
No, man, I'm not hearing that. I was no, 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 no. You got sisters. If you shoot your shot, stunner and black. I'm MG, taking, man. I'm taking. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Black Gen Z, because yeah, he's man. like the, the old school uh uh a living color skit with the Jamaican, you know, the skit with the head with head like five, six, seven, eight, nine jobs. Black Gen Z got five, six, seven, eight man. things going on. Shout out, salute to you, brother. Salute to you. Yeah, Sisters, man. The, 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 no the snow bunnies, Sisters, they scooped me up, bro. The snow they bunny. lying. They love sisters. Both these dudes love sisters, man. <laughs> Get in their inbox, man. Hit them up, man. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, man. We, 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 we ain't letting these, we ain't losing these two, man. These two, these two are good ones, man. Yo, somebody, them, somebody, man. somebody in the chat said Gen Z got a beautiful white queen. <laughs> hey. Damn, sisters, man. I think we lost. I mean, he's you, not man. wrong. He's not wrong. Shit. I ain't, yeah, man. I ain't Whatever makes wrong. you happy, bro. Whatever oh, makes you happy. Hey guys, I got a question yeah. about the uh the the short term rental stuff. Yeah. And now does does that do the same rules apply to regular leases as do your short short term rentals as far as kicking somebody that refuses to leave out? Yeah, so yeah. um usually the platform will help you evict them, but um there's like there's penalty on both sides. Their their card gets charged and all that kind of stuff. There's some things that they can do. But, you know, there are people who overstay their Airbnbs for sure. Like, that's definitely a thing. So you would have to file for an eviction, essentially. Man, that's Especially when that moratorium was going down. Yeah, that would oh, be. Yeah. yeah, it's a pain in the ass for sure. But when that moratorium was going down, like, you definitely... Um, you was you was shit out of luck honestly like somebody you rent your shit to the wrong person and they just decide to stay you couldn't evict them wow. yeah, do you guys do so a credit wild. check on them do you guys do a no. credit check on them no airbnb does all that you have to sign up and actually be yeah. vetted by airbnb or vetted by uh furnish finders right yeah so but what'll so happen they, what'll happen is Oh, yeah, I was just going to say what will happen is sometimes people will rent somebody other who's people. good will rent the shit. Yeah. Just like how like sisters be like getting like hood ass niggas into high rise apartments. It's the same way. Like they'll they'll rent it for themselves. But then, you know, other niggas will come and live there and shit. Miss Barry, you heard you. I put out the call. Miss Barry came in the chat, man. What's up, Miss Barry? You like how they be they doing with taking Miss Barry? <laughs> you, was, you was just a few minutes late. If you'd have came five minutes ago, you might have had a chance. Both of you, no, no, taking, I'm man. good. Thank you. <laughs> Don't try. They ain't messing with it. They nah, <laughs> nah. She told me I'm good. Try act on Sididi now. Nah, man. Don't do that. <laughs> you sisters always say, I, I ain't want him anyway. He ugly. <laughs> No, no, these the are, same dude well, that's ugly. Uh, that's cute if you like, them. If you like them, they're cute. If you don't like them, they're ugly. No, black Gen Z is the only one I've seen. He's a nice looking guy. Fellas, always remember this about women. Hey, if they like it. you, you're cute. If they don't like you, you're ugly. Period. It don't matter that what you look like. True, if they God. like you, man, I never had a never knew a girl that never seen a girl that liked the dude and didn't say he was cute. It don't so, matter what you look like. Yeah. If they don't like, don't matter what he look like. If she like him, he cute. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm telling the truth. That's true. A, a, a brother, we will know for the <laughs> ugly girl. We'll be like, man, you know what I'm saying? But she paid the bills, man. She got a good job, but she ain't too much to look at. We will be honest, y'all. If you like a nigga, he cute. Butterface. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. That's that's all it is, man. But damn, this is crazy, man. Um, but hey, let me hey, let me say this though to uh to to Mayo, when it comes to um <clears throat> now I've not experienced anybody trying to squat or overstay, uh you know their uh their term, but it feels like, and I don't know Gen Z how you feel about this, but like with the relationship mm -hmm. that you have with Airbnb. Uh, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable at all if somebody tried to stay like a day or two extra or something 
uh, I wouldn't feel mm-hmm. bad at all just having the locksmith like Ro pull up right there and like change the lock right in right in their face. But isn't that a lot of money? Yeah, because you have. Yeah, it is money. I mean, the locksmith gonna charge you three fifty off of it. What's that lock thing though? That that's that lock they got with the code on it that the Airbnb's got. It's like a yeah, the little digital. Oh, yeah, the the, uh, the, the, the nest on some of the doors. Yeah, that shit yeah. is like. Th- that's just like two fifty, three hundred dollars just for. No, that. you can just change nah. the code. Nah, you can just nah. change the code. I have, I have tradition. It ain't that I don't much. Have that digital. I don't have that shit. I just got the little, um, oh, you know, exactly. the, little, the little, the little key locks that the like real estate agents will use. Oh, yeah, the key boxes. Yeah, the the yeah. lock box is yeah. the lock box. Yeah. yeah, I have that. That's what I. That's what I use too. But um, but yeah, I mean, you could change the locks, but it does cost like probably like three fifty. Um, <clears throat> three fifty to get grip. rid of the gremlin is is nothing. Yeah, y'all. No, no, it's worth it. That's it's worth it. But just because you change the locks, don't mean that they'll get out. They could just stay there and and door dash that bitch all the way out. Well, let's see what some people are doing to Airbnbs. I wasn't planning on covering this tonight, but <laughs> man, you already know what they're doing. Hey, they lit. Hey, um, make sure y'all hit the PayPal Cash App Super Chat. Support the channel, man. Like that cash up five dollar challenge, man. Everybody, as many people as we can get, let's hit the five dollar challenge tonight, man. Um, you getting great information. Anybody y'all that was planning on getting into this Airbnb business? Oh yeah. You, got, you getting you getting schooled by two brothers that actually been through all the bullshit. So you don't have all to learn of it. you don't have to go and fucking learn the hard way. You can learn from their mistakes. This is the North San Jose neighborhood where the shooting happened on October 2nd. The Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office just filed a complaint this week against the suspect, 66-year-old Mark Henry Waters, who is white. According to the... Damn! (laughs) Okay. They came right out the gate with that shit. (laughs) Oh, God. I've never seen no shit like that. My God, slow down there, bucko. (laughs) Oh, God damn. Whoa. (laughs) Wow, yeah, that's he, insane. Yo, he ran through the fucking um signal third base. Um, <laughs> the third base coach, man. He ran right. Through the <laughs> and then they they try and make it seem like these unarmed niggas are not dangerous. <laughs> right. Right. Like the a lot of these things are dangerous. Oh yeah, these are very dangerous, man. especially to a sixty-six is- year old man. Oh, oh for shit. sure. Man, you know they love. He rushed them. Remember what yeah. happened with the baby when the baby rented that mansion, and then yeah. they beat up that uh, old man. Yep, yeah. he 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 got off on that too. Yeah, that shit was fucked up. Yeah, you could have killed that this man. This is the North San Jose neighborhood where the shooting happened on October second. The Santa Clara County District Attorney's Office just filed the complaint this week against the suspect, sixty-six-year-old Mark Henry Waters, who is white. According to the DA, the victim was a 21-year-old black man. Police reports we obtained at the Santa Clara County Courthouse say the victim was renting a room through Airbnb at this home across the street from the suspect. The San Jose police officer who took the victim's statement reported that he said he was going to Safeway to get some udon noodles and juice. He went on to say that when he went out, he crossed the street, and before he was even on the other side of the road, the suspect approached him and shot him. That just doesn't sound... That is a hell no, nah, that's some bullshit. You left something out. I mean, he Udon, just... Udon noodles and juice, and then he crossed right. the street Come and got on. shot. Brother Come can't on, even man. make a spread without getting shot. Yeah, that that's that's <laughs> weed and gin, man. That's weed and gin. <laughs> that's just the Trayvon, man. He went to go get an iced tea, <laughs> right? Man, and um, Skittles, man. So this is I don't I just don't believe this. Just sounds like. <laughs> I was walking down the street. A white man just came across you. He shot me. So you, this guy, right. been staying there in the Airbnb. So he'd been in the neighborhood for a while. So there had to have been some history between him and this guy across the street. Because let me tell you something. When a black dude, like he's not invested, he don't own the property. He just renting. He gonna be outside smoking. No he respect. Be littering. He gonna be like you know what I'm saying looking at everybody. Funny, you know what I'm saying? Salute to um, Nate Ways, Nate Ways, Occupation Hall of Famer, man. Um, uh, but yeah, he, he he gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? Spitting loogies everywhere, throwing his trash on the ground. He gonna play his music loud. Sun man just, and it's not even really disrespect, man. 
he's he, is I, there they no don't, regard? Don't that nigga, the nigga don't know any better. No, they just don't consider it. Like, in order for it to be disrespect, you gotta consider it and then say fuck it. They don't consider other people, so it's just it's yeah. just you know what I'm saying. So they're not really a lot of times they're not being disrespectful. They just you don't matter. Like they don't even give a fuck. Even reported that he said he was going to Safeway to get some udon noodles and juice. He went on to say that when he went out, he crossed the street, and before he was even on the other side of the road, the suspect approached him and shot him. When he saw the gun, he turned and tried to run behind a car, but was shot before he could make it. Police say it was the suspect, Waters, who called 911. The police report also detailed what he told officers, saying the victim... So the suspect called 911. The, the, the guy who shot him called 911. That's not like the actions of somebody that's just out here, you know, does running up. down. Yeah. <laughs> Six years old. He said the victim walked towards him. He thought that the victim had a gun. He later realized it was a pair of headphones. <laughs> oh Lord. I was shot Richie about to hit this up. We about to hear, <laughs> we about to hear about you can't even wear headphones, man. But I'm getting shot by a racist white man. Oh God, damn white man, why'd you do this? Salute to um Acadia, man. Appreciate you, man. Um Acadia coming through. Lovely Acadia. Um salute to um salute to the lovely Stephanie McCoy. She says five dollar challenge all day. Yeah, man. Take part, man. Um join the join the join the um the five dollar challenge, guys. Um yeah, um victim statement this is gonna be this is gonna be ugly man if this if this takes flight a shot before he could make it police say it was the suspect waters who called 911. the police report also detailed what he told officers saying the victim walked toward him he thought that the victim had a gun he later realized it was a pair of headphones police say at that point he asked for an attorney and declined to comment any further but stated later specifically, quote, I can't take it back what I have done. I have paid the price. I blanked up. We went. OK, so he's remorseful. He didn't. He, he even. He's just talking too damn much. Way yeah. too much. They're going to slaughter him. They're going to crucify him. Yeah, they're going to flame. Yeah, they definitely. They, they. Yeah, but he. I think he's just doing that because he just like he may not have. He may be genuinely telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, he. I believe he is. But I'm just saying they're going to crucify oh, yeah. him. Yeah, they're going to try to make an example out of him. Yeah, that's crazy. Went to the home of Waters and did not get an answer at the door. We also reached out to his attorney, who said he had no comment at this time. Police also looked at surveillance video from neighbors. The victim suffered a gunshot wound in his leg that resulted in a broken femur. The injuries were non-life threatening. Waters, who has been out on bail, is charged with assault with a semi-automatic firearm, a felony charge. Police are investigating potential hate crime allegations. Waters hate crime? Wow. Of course. But he shot him in the leg. He's going to end up having to move. He shot him once, and he called the police, and he said he was sorry. He's going to fuck her end up in federal prison. <laughs> oh, my God. You glad Oh, even way. worse. He's going to wind up in California state prison. That's Crump terrible. is going to end up on his front lawn holding a press conference. Oh, oh he oh, that motherfucker going to own that house. Oh, my God. He, God. he ain't even smart enough to try to do that. Poor God guy man he's fucked is expected to be in court monday afternoon for a now look at this neighborhood no trash on the ground no skid skid out skid marks on the ground no no donuts and shit and eating off and shit no the, the, all the lawns look decently manicured except for this one this kind of look rough over here but for the most part people's you know plants that, and shit that, that's why people don't fuck with the airbnb in their neighborhood i right? Yeah. You, yes. Yeah. Definitely. Airbnb. They don't, fuck, don't up fuck up a nice neighborhood. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. It depends. Doubt. That's not. That's not always the case. Oh no, not always. But it's the I, case I was to almost. Know. Yeah, I was almost thinking that it should almost become a law or a rule that the neighbors have to sign off on when someone wants to yeah. 
have an, a home. I, in they, 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 I think they do where I live at. You're they don't allow you're essentially, that. You're, you're, you're essentially calling for a HOA yes. situation. Yes, for everybody everywhere. Yes, and I think yes. I think uh, some people would agree with you on this on the Airbnb. Was but with, <laughs> but was with, yeah, but, but but in some cities, <laughs> in some towns, the Airbnb people they they bring up the neighborhood. They don't bring it down. So it's not always a down. Some places it's an upper. Oh well, yeah, well nothing there. nothing. There's no absolute, but I, right. I'm just saying there's too many cases where things like this. Um, pop up and it destroys right. an otherwise uh, uh, neighborhood, neighborhood that doesn't have to do with it. Deal right. with this. I, where Look, I'm at, they don't allow it. They can't have Airbnbs around where I'm at. Listen, man, I've stayed at the Airbnb in Nashville, Harrisonburg, um, DC, um, Denver. All this year, um, I've stayed at so many Airbnbs this year, and I mean, you guys seen it, but um. And and listen, man, I'm I'm a um, I I'm a good host. Me and my me and my family, we're good hosts. We we clean right. up when we leave. We don't tear shit up. But um, I don't know. It's like every neighborhood I lived in with an Airbnb, except for DC, I was the only black person I ever saw anywhere, even at the store, mm -hmm. even anywhere in blah blah blah. And the people didn't even bat an eye. Mm -hmm. No one ever like. I'm talking about the Same only for me. black person. Same for me. You know how I look. Like it's not like I'm like Poindexter or anything. <laughs> and no one batted an eye. Right, right. Well, same for me. Know. Yeah. I mean, I I had to stay in Airbnb recently for over a year while I was having my my home built. But I I don't I don't you know. You hear that, ladies? <laughs> you, hear, you hear that, ladies? Um, you might want to slide <laughs> WP's DM. Man, he loves sisters, man. No, but I was just saying, um, I, I don't do the typical Sun Man thing. So, same situation. I go into the store, it's, 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 it was near the water. So, it was basically all guys. They didn't bat an eye. But at the same time, I'm not doing typical Sun Man things. So, they, you know, they don't care. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I'm, in the house, I'm in the house at fucking eight o'clock. My daughter, me and my, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, yeah. I'm not out. Hanging out, I'm not doing none of that shit. And Nate Way says, I'm a horrible glider. I do consider shit though. I just say fuck it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Nate Ways, man. He he goddamn um goddamn um thugged out glider, man. Reform thug glider, man. A maniac, yeah, a maniac over yeah, there. Yeah, man. Yo, yo, yo I not not, on, not, not for nothing, Chief, right? But where I'm at, they treat Airbnb like they treat CHA uh Chief. Yeah, mm -hmm. no doubt. We don't do that. Uh, Just because some teams got got way out of control in your area early in the Airbnb now, game. It's different in different places. You know what I'm saying? Like if you got a place like like a like a place where they use it for parties or they use it like like some some sun teams now like they'll put their money up. Like you got a bunch of little sun teams put their money up to get an Airbnb. And then they, you know, turn it out, trap out of it, and bring right. girls. Yo, there. yo, chief. I, I specifically don't give a fuck. say, I specifically say, no parties. And everyone that has rented from me has respected that. Man, mm -hmm. can you bless this, brother? Yo, chief. I don't care if they're glider teams. I don't. They could go. So go somewhere with that. I mean, I prefer them over the sun teams. Don't get you obviously right, but I yeah. still don't want the glider teams. On any teams, yeah. Right. Yeah, salute to salute to um Georgia Swan. Uh, she said bad boy gliders like um and they ways. Salute to Chris G, man. Chris G, one of my day ones, man. He's been around for a long time, man. You see his beautiful um glider woman right there, man. Chris G, Chris G off the market, <laughs> sisters, man. Sorry, sisters. Hey, he's, he's a bad day, you sisters, man. I'm trying to find somebody that uh, you know, that uh, you know. <laughs> You know, just, just nobody want the sisters, man. Come on, man. You know what? Fuck it. Sign me up, Chief. Oh, oh. he's ready. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. oh. Man, man. Then they're going to be like, he too short. We, she like tall guys. <laughs> man, man. Yeah. Uh, yo, <laughs> you're on 5'11", though. Oh, okay. You follow you. Oh, you got the, you got some bladder blood in you, man. Damn, man. Oh, man. He, he, even the sisters don't want no Latina woman after him. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Don't want that smoke. Um, 
Salute to Mary M. Mary M say, um, wound wound up white man. <laughs> Maybe he watches Oxy. Hey, you know what? That's true, man. He he might watch me, man, and be like, yo, I gotta be on point. It ain't nothing wrong with it. Cause I mean, listen, man, like I told y'all, remember I tell y'all the time. Hey, we ain't seen Mr. Builder in a while, man. Just saying. Right, right. But 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 you know how I tell you all the time, you can't compete. You know what I'm saying? Because are you ready? So when you see that sun team walking up on you, looking suspicious, are you ready to draw and air out like this guy did? You know, he did it in the wrong time because the guy wasn't an arm. But it maybe the guy was gonna, maybe the guy was gonna punch him in the face, a strong arm or rob him. We, we don't know, but whatever. Let's just assume that the brother was was just you know going about his business. You he, this he was, is the, he, was, uh, he was frolicking. Yeah, exactly. You gotta be. If, this is why you can't compete because most times, you you ain't gonna pull out like this guy and dump on a, a little sun team or a little sun man. You ain't gonna do it. Ninety nine percent of y'all ain't gonna do it. And exactly what happened, what we said was gonna happen. Every time we, we brought that up, you will get charged with a hate crime. <laughs> and that's what that's the fuck happened right here. Salute to Gen X Boomer, man. He says for reparations, better late than never. Yeah, man, I need my reparations. I told you, man, I ain't for that shit, but if they cut the check, man, I want one. Police are investigating potential hate crime allegations. Waters is expected to be in court Monday afternoon for arraignment in San Jose, Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News. Yeah, man, they, we, 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 we hell on some goddamn cool shit. We, if it's some shit that's new and good, we fuck it up. Now, right breaking news from NBC4. Columbus, Ohio. We are following breaking news. Thank you for waking up with NBC4 today. I'm Monica Day. And I'm Matt Barnes. The breaking news is Columbus police are investigating a shooting in the Franklinton area that left five teenagers hurt. Police say the shooting happened. Mass shooting. Happened during a party at a rental property in the city. Matthew Herchick live. The shooting happened at a rental party in the city. Teenagers hurt. Police say the shooting happened during a party at a rental property in the city. Matthew Herchick live at that scene. Now, Matthew, what do we know so far this morning? Good morning, Matt and Monica. Well, we know right now that five teenagers are in the hospital recovering after being shot at a home here on Bellows Avenue. Police say that all five are expected to be okay, but they are still searching for the suspect or suspects responsible for the shooting. But as you can see behind me, the scene has since cleared a little bit about an hour or so ago. But you can see some of the images from here earlier this morning. Look at that fucking snow and sun mist. Still, Sunday's still out here having shootouts and shit. Like who, who, who's shooting people in this shit? Sunday. Yeah. So much, so much for the theory that crime goes down when it gets cold. It's fucking crazy, man. They're just out there shooting each other in the middle of this. Salute to um, M six two six M. He says, "Happy New Year's Eve, Eve, Eve." And P.L. Sandridge says, salute, Black Gen Z. Once again, Ock, did you see that our beloved young man asked the gremlin to leave? <laughs> yeah, man, he talked about that earlier, man. You a little late, man. Um, he survived, though, man. So he must not have really asked it. Black Gen Z must be lying. Black Gen Z must have. Black Gen Z got in there and, um, you know, like, all right, man, look, man, you can stay, but, um, you know, as if Black Gen Z would have told the Sun Man to leave for real, he would have had to either up that biscuit or he would have been something would have happened. Because, yeah, I don't think Black Gen Z really, really told that brother he had to leave. He put the note under the door. Yeah, exactly. Black Gen Z was like, <laughs> Black Gen Z kind of like, you know, he said it, you know, in a polite way, like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, look, man, look, man, when I come back, man, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to have a long talk, man. But, you know, y'all good for now. And the sun milk, all right, cool. Earlier this morning when police arrived, they arrived here shortly after 1 o'clock a.m. They say, again, that uh, all five victims, rather, I'm sorry, are between the ages of 17 the and 19. They say that one of the victims was shot in the foot and was taken to Grant Medical Center nice. in stable condition. The other four victims were all self-transports to Nationwide Children's Hospital. But again, all five. Think about this. You got 
fucking son teens taking themselves to the children's hospital with gunshot wounds in a in a blizzard. <laughs> right in a blizzard. <laughs> you know I mean, it's just like crazy. They go into the children's house. They they don't even go to the adult hospital. These motherfuckers are like going to the they they're, they're driving themselves. Like, hey man, take me to the hospital, man. Where children's at? <laughs> like that's the one that they know of. That's where their mother take them every yeah. year to get their vaccinations. Exactly. That's where they go. They go to children's house because they're kids. The pediatric. Yeah, they, <laughs> they motherfuckers with the children's right, These are these are the motherfuckers that are carjacking everybody. Right. These are running around with guns in the streets. In 19, they say that one of the victims was shot in the foot and was taken to Grant Medical Center in stable condition. The other four victims were all self-transports to Nationwide Children's Hospital. But again, all five are in stable condition this morning. Now, like you said, according to police, the shooting happened during an Airbnb party that was taking place inside the house. Police say that at least a dozen witnesses were detained at the scene as police try to piece together what happened. Again, right now, police have not released any suspect information. And we have reached out to Airbnb to confirm if this is, in fact, a rental property through their site. You guys will remember last Monday, three people were shot at a rental property through VRBO in the University mm. District. We live. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's see, that's another site that that VRBO. I don't advertise on that site. That's a site for people, in my opinion, that are looking for properties where you can be more social. Like so, do put, so do you put on your ads like family only or yes okay yeah. oh simple enough <laughs> yeah i mean it's just i mean this is the second so this is, eight people have been shot at um short-term <laughs> rental properties this week in this in columbus in columbus ohio this is just one city I mean, yo. Dude, gremlins are going to, they ruin everything, man. <laughs> everything. Think about and, the and pressure it, that puts on the, like, the, the people in that city, because it's like, yo, this is one city. This If this was the whole country, if there had been two shootings at an Airbnb this week in the entire country, to me, that's a big story. <laughs> but see, hey, uh, th this is the capital of the state, and, uh, I remember I went there years ago on business. Uh, uh, this is Dilbert G. 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 Yeah, what's Dilbert up, Gag, whatever. What's up, Dilbert hey, what's going on, they they said this is an overgrown cow town. That's I think a cop told me that when I was there. He said it's just people walk around in cowboy boots and stuff. I don't know if they still do, but oh, they don't. Yeah, overgrown cow town. Now it's the hood. Yeah, it's the hood. It's the hood, man. Um, wow. I mean, it's just. This is just so bizarre. Like, it, it makes you think, like, if we went to every city, think about if we, if we went to every city and it was, like, two of these every week in every city. I mean, that's a, you know, that is a fucking, that's almost unbelievable, man. Sometimes we get jaded by Sun Man activity. Sometimes it's, it's, I think sometimes it's good to like step back and remove yourself from operation and look at it just like an observer, a neutral observer. <laughs> but like, but, yeah. I, but it's it's crazy I, how if you see someone, if you see a duck, you gotta pretend it's not a duck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. And 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 for what? Like I, I get it's tough, man. I'm not one. I'm not one. Who advocate for treating anybody? You know, you know what I'm trying to say, Chief. But what about our own safety, though? Does that not matter? Yeah, man. I mean, you all you gotta do is what, like, like um, Stunner said, man. Like, only families, and you gotta, you gotta do take every precaution you can. You know, what I'm saying? Right, you live, no, yeah. no rap music, no rap music allowed. <laughs> no, I also work with my with the neighbors. I, I met them, you know what I mean? I told them what I was doing with the house, 
and I gave them my contact information and I told them they could contact me if anything silly goes on. Oh, wow. So, so they watch over oh, my so little, yeah, they watch over my situation too. So I, you know, we, I'm from there, you know what I mean? It's a, it's kind of a small town. So, you know what I'm saying? It just, you just work with people and they cool. They understand I'm trying to get money and I improve the property, which makes the street look better. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, you're when, simply, and, you, and you're looking out for that. You have their interest at heart as well. You're not trying to, you know, mess up their. Exactly. Situation. But here's the one thing that because when I did my Airbnbs, um, I would see on the site where it said people could go there and report if there was a party or, you know, loud noise. Um, and it had like a thing you could click on and it would, you know, somehow. um alert the local authorities as well so yeah. um this this tweet right here is, is wicked i mean this 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 super oh, it's priceless. he says sons make up five times less of the population than gliders but make up five times more murders that's like playing football f- five against 25 and still winning 42 to seven <laughs> <laughs> you said respect yes priceless <laughs> wow. so that's pretty much is one of the best ways I've ever heard this thing summed up, man. Wow. Can you picture that? I just that five and still dominating. Yeah, you can't. You can't fix that because here's the problem, man. Um, you is if, if you we got five guys on the field and you got twenty five on the field, and now like if we they not call the penalties against us. <laughs> So it's gotta be that, right? Top blocking, we doing everything. We we ain't get penalty. We all sides. We get all day. <laughs> we running out of bounds. Maybe Roughing the passer. <laughs> unnecessary roughness. Necessary yeah, paperwork man. with the city, but Bray the field. To Airbnb, and we'll keep you updated as we learn more throughout the morning. Local for you in Columbus, Matthew Herchik, NBC Four. Wow, man. Um, yeah, you. You yelling deep shit, man. <laughs> Y'all are deep, deep duty, man. I feel bad for and it's, and it's only getting worse. Yeah, it's all only. That only thing that got started years, T. Jeez. The big story this Saturday night at 10 o'clock, a violent start to Halloween weekend. Three separate house parties ending in gunfire across the valley. And- Three separate house parties ending in gunfire. And this is an Airbnb with all of those. Uh, those incidents, remarkably, no one was hurt. My <laughs> team calls Jade Cunningham. I already let you know who she was. Yeah, you know exactly who that was. Look at him. He's just shooting the house. He's not even shooting anybody. He's just shooting the house. Uh, those incidents, remarkably, no one was hurt. Tonight, Team 12's Jade Cunningham is in Tempe, where neighbors thought they were in the middle of a war zone and say they have the surveillance video to prove it. In seconds, a countless number of shots fired. It was a little scary, you know. I mean, it's something that like I wouldn't expect from this neighborhood. Then more. Mm. Oh, I was Is so that- scared. I was just so scared. Tempe police say around 3.30 a.m. Saturday, they responded to a call of gunshots at a house party in a neighborhood southeast of Hardy and University. When they arrived, they saw people running and began investigating. It was a Halloween party. Everybody was dressed up, having a good time. This man was at the party. I mean, it was a pretty big party. And spoke to us only if we hid his identity. He was inside when the shooting happened and is still trying to understand it. As soon as the gunshots went off, we were all inside and everybody dropped to the floor. That's a glider, man. Glider, man. If you ain't from the ghetto, don't ever come to the ghetto because you won't understand the ghetto. So stay the fuck out of the ghetto. Yeah, but they ain't in the ghetto. (laughs) The ghetto ghetto came to the party uninvited and were asked to leave. He should have left. He should have left. He should have left as soon as he saw. Listen, it's teach your kids, Gladys, as if they're at a party and some goddamn John Marquaviuses and Keontae show up. Tell your kids it's time to leave. 
Period, but, man. And I know that in street that. fashion. <laughs> oh yeah, we all know, we all know this on this channel, huh? Yeah, yeah but, <laughs> but 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 I, I need I need Gladys to to, to really <laughs> really do that, man, because <laughs> this kid right here, he he doesn't under he's struggling to understand. No, there's no understanding, man. Why are you struggling to understand? You don't try to understand it. <laughs> Just leave. Yeah, everybody was dressed up, having a good time. This man was at the party. I mean, it was a pretty big party. And spoke to us only if we hid his identity. He was inside when the shooting happened and is still trying to understand it. As soon as the gunshots went off, we were all inside and everybody dropped to the floor. And we kind of just stayed there until the cops got there. It was obviously scary. There was a lot of guns pointed uh, in our direction from the police. So it was it was a little... Uh, a little crazy. The property is an Airbnb. Neighbors say it's been that way for about a year with a few issues. But I'd rather have true residents and true people that live in this neighborhood care about this neighborhood in this area. Airbnb sending a statement that says it condemns what happened and have taken initial measures to remove the booking guests from the platform and to deactivate the listing pending investigation. Neighbors, though, say they're still left shaken. But I hope we never see something like this again. Tempe police tell 12 News that at this time, nobody has been arrested for the shooting, that there was one person who was arrested, but it was because of an outstanding warrant. They... <laughs> you, you know where they went wrong, Chief? I don't think those sun men saw that neighborhood watch sign, right? They, they missed it. Yeah. They, maybe maybe they should have added a, you know, the no gun sign? Yeah, they that need to make help. that neon, man. Make the air, make the neighborhood watch um right. sign neon. They they that that, that would have stopped the brothers. I, they would have definitely put a noose. Put a noose. Put a noose on it. Right. Yeah. Put, put a, a noose on the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that'll probably work. I mean, you just gotta you gotta do everything you can, man. We're at, and we're we're at the point now where you gotta you gotta um go to the kitchen oh sink at it. Yeah, man. Church, be. be be um, be what? What's the word? Um, in, use your ingenuity, man. Do everything you can. Um, right, modern problems. Right. <laughs> yeah, 